everyone for some more, some more of my Go Ahead Eagles career mode for FIFA 22. We are going to be beginning things here by uh, simming this game against Utrecht. You can see Boadu is our leading goal scorer in Eredivisie with 8, Evers with 7. But not only do I plan on getting to the month, month of December, but I may also pl uh, sim to the, get through this entire month of January as well. Which, I'm going to sim this game against Utrecht. Oh, I, I didn't realize this was a cup game against Volvike. I'll be playing that. I'll also be playing this game against Nijmegen. And I'll also be simming this game against uh, PSA. I'll probably be simming the rest of the games. So, the only games I'll actually play are the games against Volvike and Nijmegen. But before we get started, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. But if we win this game against Utrecht, we will be regaining our spot in, on top of the Eredivisie. Let's take a look at Utrecht's kits here real quick. Nothing too exciting, but nothing too terrible either. If we get the 3-1 win, Jolinton, Ferreira, and Verman getting goals. Van der Strake ends up getting uh, an opener for them, but we end up getting three unanswered. I didn't even notice. I should have paid attention to see if... Um, Uh, Gregus and played or not. I didn't get a, a chance to pay attention. As you can see, Garrett Trader is, becomes our third 80 rated player. I'm expecting by the end of the season, half our team being 80 rated. Especially the way their wingers are going. Like Evers, Salamakers, Backer, Wrench. I, I, not that I expect, but I anticipate... Uh, those four players reaching an 80. So there's a chance we may have up to seven players reached 80 rating. But I'm going to go ahead and switch to my second team here. Which we are going to be playing this cup game against Volvike. You can see there's already the uh, Champions League draw. Okay, Heracles has already beat Tavor, IZ beat Feyenoord. Feyenoord. Sittard knocking on PSV, Ajax knocking on our next opponents, Nijmegen. Vitesse knocking out Groningen, and Twente knocking out Willem Tway. But anyway, we are going to get into this game against Volvike. I will keep those uh, kits on them, partly clear skies at Morton Road. See, Amaral is our featured player here. As we are on the way here. I was trying to pass it to Evers that whole time. Ferreira gets the goal. Yeah, Ferreira is turning into a tidy little winger for us. I'm really liking how he's performing so far. Uh, 
as we kick things off again. Should I say not we, but Volvo? Eh? Some nice passing there. Okay, ammo. I think Evers may have had a bit of a locker room talk with these guys because I noticed since that one episode where the guys had trouble recognizing the crossing, it's been super good lately. Sorry about that. Oh, bad pass. Yeah, I thought I got a text from one of my buddies, but it wasn't. Hamer, how is your crossing since you're out here? Okay, ammo. Yeah, that offside. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, are you offside? No, you're not. Okay. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and sim to the results here. They do get a goal back. Gurry ends up getting a, an injury for them. Stray came on for wrench. Okay, let's see. Heronbane knocking out Camber. So, we, we can face one of either Heronbane, Heracles, AZ, Ajax, Fortuna Sitter, Vitesse, or Twente in the next round. Which I'm not mistaken is the quarterfinals. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my third team here against uh, Nijmegen. As you can see, we're still ahead of the uh, IX two point lead. Okay, we are at risk of losing Nick Hangelman and Justin Backer, which. I'm not really too concerned. Ah! There we go. Which I'm not too concerned about, to be honest with you. But we are going to play this game against Nijmegen. I am not playing in the rain. But first, let's look at the kits. Let's play under clear skies. We're going to go ahead and play this game. You can see Buadu is a featured player here. But here we go. We are up against newly fellow newly promoted side NEC Nijmegen. One guy player they have kind of looked like Gerard PK. Although I know they wouldn't have been able to sign him, but I think that's kind of interesting. Okay, Ferreira.
Okay. Can we make it two? Anderson cleaning, cleaning up the mess there. Though to be fair, that was a tight angle for Ferrero to score, so I can't be too hard on him. And this, that's his first goal in the Eredivisie, so I'm happy that he scored then. Ferreira, can you get a brace? Goalkeeper got a hold of that. He wasn't able to get and keep it out. But there we go. I don't know why I said it like that. I just noticed that Bane has grown up to 73, which is awesome. They do get a goal back through, uh, Vandersteis. Last, I wonder if that's Lass has shown uh, getting a, an, an injury for them, but Jolinton came on for Amaral, Bukawi came on for Helder. Barker with the yellow card. Ajax beating Feyenoord, so they are able to keep pace with us, unfortunately. As we are going to be going up against third place PSV. Our front three, each of them are 78 now, which is awesome. Wrench is up to 77. You can see Goats up. Now uh, with Eintracht Frankfurt in real life. You can see we maintain our... Two point edge over Ajax and a seven point lead over um, PSV. Feyenoord now with the third place team as PSV dropped the fourth. I am going to go ahead and sim this game. You can see Gota be playing be behind Zahavi. Cody Gapo, uh, one of my favorite players in career mode. Let's go ahead and sim this. And they get the win, unfortunately. We end up dropping three points. Mario Goza with the winner. I think that the fact that we're this high up in the air divisi table, I mean, yeah, they cut their deficit to us down to four, and Ajax takes over first place, but the, f the fact that we're even as high as what we are, I'm tickled pink about that. I'm starting to get vibes from my Nottingham Forest crew mode with this Go Head Eagle side. But I think I am going to uh, go for it. Yeah, we lose one game and then the EA thinks we're stuck in the rut. But let's take a look at the table here as we're approaching January. We do get... We have the 14 wins, which ties us with Ajax for most in the league. We got two draws and two losses. We got the best goal differential. We are one point behind Ajax. Take a look at the rest of the league. Bottom two right now, Fortuna, Sittard, and Seville with Camber in that 16th position. Okay, let's see. The Rane Becker Trophy, we are up against Fortuna, so that's probably one of the easier draws that we could have asked for there. Ajax versus RZ, that's going to be a good battle. And Conference League, we won't know until after this preliminary round. Take a look at some of the stats here real quick. Buadu is our leading goal scorer with 8 goals. Evers are leading a sister with 7. Salamanca is behind them with 6. And Reykjavik with 4 clean sheets. Garcia with 1. So, five total clean sheets altogether in 18 matches. It's not terrible, but it's not great by any stretch of imagination. But 
But yeah, we're just going to get through the month of January as well. We're going to go get our next batch of uh, scouting reports from Belgium and Denmark. A bunch of players leaving the club. Okay, let's see how many players we can actually promote. Okay, Timmerman, I'm going to go ahead and promote you. Van Dorn. Should probably promote Van Der Waal. Backer. He's got good potential. I'm going to go ahead and promote you. Okay, let's see if uh, Thing is ready to get them. Um, Gregerson is promoted, uh, ready to get and become a left winger. Which he is, he goes from a 66 to... He only goes up to 66. The thing said that he was going to grow up by three as a winger. Okay, whatever. I was expecting him to grow to a 69. But whatever, I'm going to go ahead and loan this him. Hopefully he'll go somewhere. Yeah, that was kind of a letdown. Evers is now up to 79. Okay, that's about all the, the growth that's been happening so far. Yeah, that's kind of a letdown. Okay, Timmerman's been dreaming about this. Hopefully we get some loan offers in, or maybe some transfer offers for some players that I'm looking to get rid of. See if Belgium can get us anything good, which... Zachariah De Wolf, he's a reject. Arthur Janssen's... Race. Mm, I'll sign you. Rick Howder, an interesting name. I'll go ahead and sign you. The backer. Nope. Dylan Collard. That does not look like a Belgian name, but you're a reject. And Nolan Lambrex is a reject. And then once I get my other report, and I'll take a look at the guys that I just signed. Loan opportunity for Gregerson. Did we get anybody that won... Okay, Linson grabs Player of the Month award for December. Did we get anybody that was nominated? No, three Ajax guys. And That's funny, three I Ajax guys got nominated alongside Linson, who plays for Feyenoord, but the Feyenoord guy wins it. Okay, let's see... Daniel Everson, 600 grand. I'm going to go ahead and sign you. Felix Fredrickson, you look like one of the worst ones I've ever seen. And Marius Pedersen, you're a reject as well. Okay, let's take a look at the guys that we just signed. Okay, let's see. Okay. Louis Vercauteren, a 15-year-old CDM. I do not play with a formation that accommodates center mid, center defensive mids. Okay, let's see what... It, okay, you got good pace and good physicality. You kind of look like a center back. He's six foot two. Yeah, this guy's going to be a center back. Everson, same story with you. Six foot two. He's a CDM. Let's see what you're... Development looks like. Again, good pace, good physicality. You look like a center back, so I'm going to go ahead and train you to be a center back. And in race, you are a right midfielder, though I do not play a formation that accommodates right midfielders. Excellent pace, though. Nothing really else, so you look like a winger. I should get rid of some of my wingers on my 
my on my team. Okay, he's got But Van Dorn is only fifteen and said already up to fifty eight though, so I think I'll just keep things the way they are. Any else going? Nope. Hoping I get some loan offers in or some transfer offers for some of my Deadwood players. Okay, Gre Gregerson loan offer from Besiktas. I am going to go ahead and delegate for a loan move for one year. It's already up to 68, which is nice. I don't know what kind of game time he's going to get at Besiktas, but hopefully he'll grow. Hoekstra transfer offer. Not a guy that I want to transfer, though. I'm going to reject that. I'm looking for a loan offer, not a transfer offer. He is one of our better players. As we are going to go ahead and sim this game against Volvike. I've already played against this team twice, so... Okay, Gregerson loan thing agrees on a two-year loan move, which I'm gonna, I will happily accept. Hopefully, he will. Like I said, I don't know what kind of game time he's gonna get over there, but hopefully, he'll accept the move. Okay, let's see. I know you'll eventually be looking. I'm gonna say you're the man for the job. Okay, a lot of players, I'm going to say the same thing. You're the man for the job. Rojas is already up for the, uh, up to 74. So he's growing nicely. But anyway, we are going to up against second place Volvike. Our seventh place Volvike, not second. We're going to go ahead and quit. Is that Vernon Anita as captain on the team? And we do get the 2 0 win, Salamakers and Evers. Our wingers end up getting the win for us. Anderson came off a of hammer, Bain came off a of wrench, and Kyrie came off a of Boadu. I'm going to be amazed if we finish in the top two of the Eredivisie. As we reclaim top spot for the time being. I'll just keep my first team on there. Hopefully my second team doesn't start whining about lack of game time. Gregerson has a good, 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 good. Another transfer. I don't want to transfer him. Do I have him transfer listed? Oh, I don't have him anything at all. I'm, I'm going to have to change that. I thought I had him loan listed this whole time. Yeah, hope so. I want him to... First of all, i got to change his position. Goes from a 60 to 62. And then I'm going to go ahead and loan list him. I don't want him transfer listed. I want him loan listed. Tamer is now up to 76. And we are going to be simming this game against 5th place Heracles. Which, GG to them. For a team that got relegated in real life being in 5th place on here. Hey, I'm actually very happy for them. I really am. Must be those Newcastle colors coming in. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to sim this game. They dropped down to 6th, but still very impressive. I am going to go in and sim this with my first team. It 
And we get the two new wins. Salamakers and Vermin end up scoring for us. And we do get a clean sheet. I think that's back-to-back -back two new wins for us. But you can see there, our next game is a quarterfinal cup match against Fortuna Sittard. 16 goal contributions in 18 matches for Evers. That is just amazing there. Take a look at some of the development here. Okay, both these guys have already be center backs. He goes from a 50 to 53, and he goes from a 55 to a 57. Okay, cool. Okay, let's go ahead and put development plans on them real quick. And I think I'm going to put the same plan on... One week, four weeks, four weeks. No, I can't. I gotta have him as a stopper. So between Everson and Vercouter, and uh, Everson looks like the better scout about that uh, potential there by Vercouter is nothing to sneeze at either. That looks pretty good as well. But that is where I'm going to call this episode. I am going to go ahead. If something happens for the remainder of the chance window, I'll, I'll let you guys know in the next episode, but next time I'll see you guys, we will be uh, playing this uh, cup game against Fortuna Sittard. This should be a conference league game coming up, so the, f the main focus of my career, well, the first season anyway, is going to be the Ron Hay Becker and also the conference league. I'm probably going to send most of the remaining Eredivisie games. Unless I see that we're really starting to falter in the league, then I'm probably going to just going to sim most, if not all, the Eredivisie games. Because I think we're in a strong enough position where we can finish where I want to finish, at least for this first season. I don't want us to overachieve too much here. But if we do, if we do. If we don't, that's fine as well. But, um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. And I'll be seeing you guys again next time.